I V M. Long ago, three young men decided to form an alliance and get into a future. The three men were Amar Akbar Anthony, and the film, of course, was beautiful. But we have three other men who formed a geek fruit. Not so interesting story, but their future is all about science fiction, nerd culture, and comic books. That's right. If you're too lazy to read a full book, read a comic book. If you're too lazy to read a comic book, let Geek Fruit tell you about a comic book and comic books. New episodes out on the IVM podcast website, app, or wherever you get your podcasts from. All right. Please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus Says. She was born in Bengaluru many years ago, and today is a superstar with Sacred Games. We meet Kubra Seth, actress who's won many different awards, including uh, something called the Miss Personality title at the Miss India Worldwide Pageant in Durban. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows. Everybody is aware about what happened in Parliament the other day. The hugging between Ramo, Ramo, no, that <laughs> some kind of child, <laughs> Raga and Namo. Uh, but people are talking about hugging being against Indian culture and coming from another culture, etc. So what is Indian culture then for greeting? A handshake is Western culture, so I'm saying like then that's not right if that's what you want to think. And the foot touching and all that is, you know, I mean, your back will go and you do it only for older people or people you respect. So I mean, uh, come on, there'll be no one left. So forget that. Uh, I thought the thing we should do, which is close to the Indian ethos, and yet you know keeps us apart from the rest of the world, would be spitting, because that's our thing. Now let me explain. Uh, spitting is not a bad thing. You can spit when you meet someone, and instead of saying hello, you just go and you spit. Don't spit on him. If you spit on him or her, then that's an act of war. I see you just spit alongside somewhere, which is an act of greeting. Again, spin that to our own thing. That's Indian ethos, Indian culture. We can sell it all over the world. You're Indian, meeting another Indian in Portugal. You spit, he spits. They find you twenty five euros. But hey, come on, we've done our thing. We progress. We've sent the message. India is coming. It's called Cyrus. Says. And that's what Cyrus says. Okay, we've got Kubra Seth with us here on Cyrus Says, and the way I see it, biting into a name like that with great. Kubra, you can tell I'm married twenty years and frustrated, no? Immediately. Yeah, 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 immediately. I Kub- can hear the bite. Kubra, is your full name King Kubra, or is it just Kubra? No, it's Kubra Commander. You think I spent the whole night thinking of this? Yeah, <laughs> but yours is funny. People also look at me and call me Queen Kubra now. See, but you're a good-looking woman. So when you say Kubra Commando, it's not so much funny as sexy. Yeah. But if I say Kubra Commando, it just sounds wrong. Do you see me like visualize me in like a latex black suit every day? Every. Or- fr- Seven to eight hours. That is incredible. Especially when my wife and kids are in the room. So I'm, <laughs> I, I'm going to so therapy now. So they've already now. thrown you out of the room. No, just therapy. Acha, okay. Oral therapy. <laughs> my producer's dad used to be an oral surgeon, so I, everything he has oral for some reason. Nice. Uh, listen, you have the right to complain. We have a. I'm have paid a to talk. I'm not going to complain Kubra, about oral we, we have, skills. We have a support group. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Listen, I, we have to start with Netflix right at the top. But before that, I, uh, because you know this just suddenly uh, propelled you. But you've been around for a long time. We'll discuss yeah. your entire journey. And how much you earn and everything else. Oh, that's great. And whether yes. your GST is pending or not, because we have all the account details. Oh, lovely. <laughs> But first, let's start with uh, the character. Now, everybody has seen this. Net- Apparently, except and those except me. But everybody else has. Seen I it. want to leave this room right now. <laughs> yeah, but my problem is, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I don't get access to Netflix or Amazon. Which one is it on? I'm the one making the money, or you've been the one making money forever. Hey, Baba, I don't like six hundred rupees a month. Money. I have a joint family. You always think it's always about the money. I do. It's a hierarchy where I just Achha. I don't get a position here, so I don't get a chance to watch. I'm I was in good position, I should tell you. Okay, if you want to have that kind of conversation, <laughs> it might work saying. for our ratings. So we'll just go with that. Yeah, then. Tell okay. us, Kubra, your favorite positions. The floor is yours. <laughs> no, I, no, double, no, no, double no, meaning. no, okay, that, no, no quadruple meaning. I think I bit off more than I could chew. This, oh boy, there, Kubra. <laughs> Sacred Games, uh, hugely popular already. But the character, am I right? Because this is the research that I've been given. Yeah, you're it's lies. A, now, uh, for people who don't know who you are, now quickly looking at your photograph. Yeah. Uh, Kubra, take a look. Hot, hot young lady. Uh, yeah. You're playing a transgender. Yes. So the question is, why didn't they cast me? I wonder why so, they didn't cast you. I mean, she, look at your. She didn't have a comeback. You know why? She didn't, want, she didn't want to be insensitive. For a second, I saw her eyes, and she was feeling bad. It, it, she was feeling bad for me, huh? It's not like she didn't have something to say. She could have gone aggressive, but yeah, she let no, it. No, no, I'm gonna let it pass. She dropped love. the ball there on that one, just to yeah. be nice to me. That's sweet of you. Uh, okay, so you're playing an 80s uh, 
I, apparently based on some sort of uh, real whoever wrote this well uh, Vikram Chandra Vikram Chandra wrote it yeah. so he grew up watching these dancers so he's probably had this sort of experience yeah yeah, yeah. so this was like uh, based on a research that he was doing for a very long time in Bombay mm. typical and South Bombay guy going to watch transgenders dance it's all over yeah from Valkyrie to Worli everybody does now, it now see I don't know this part both of us both, because I moved to Bombay very late both Abbas and me are South Bombay so we know all this we are trained oh, about all this from China interesting and all now I'm going to let you talk because I'm talking nonsense and not letting us discuss <laughs> your role Cuckoo who is Cuckoo so Cuckoo uh, well, according to not just the series and the way it's been portrayed I think uh, it's just you know uh, as uh, kind of a as you mentioned i'm playing a transgender right i think for the first time in indian cinema someone of the third gender has been given so much love respect and pride mm-hmm. so those were the three things that i was faced when i actually walked into shoot the first day so my turnaround time was literally 3 days from the day i was said you're doing the show to me being on set So I really did not have time to visit these dance bars, know about them, and all of that stuff. But now you and I will do that. Yes. Just to check whether you got it right. Yes. Great. Thank you. This is going to be such a great first date. Being Mumbai by twelve o'clock, it all shuts. So we have to be on time. Huh? Kubra, yeah. Kubra. We'll start by seven. So Scarlett Johansson, by the way. Yes. Got fired by the yes. uh, LGBT community yes. plus PQRST, which I forget now. Yes. Uh, for. Agreeing to play a transgender. Yes. And uh, so she walked because, out of no, it because they want a real transgender. Is that yes. it? Do yes. We have, did you have the same problem? Immediately. Did my people talk to your people about why my people are not in your people's shoes? Yes, they did. Uh, but actually, they didn't really talk to each other. They spoke on Twitter. Oh. And they said, oh, "This is, you know, so of great the national consequence, and we need to discuss this." But uh, in all honesty, so, so, so the problem is that uh, you get a chance really to represent a very niche community, yeah. and then you go ahead with a woman, so you sort of a real woman instead of a real transgender, so you sold out. Is that it? Well, honestly speaking, I would have been the greatest cheerleader if a transgender. But when they person, showed you the money on offer, you said, "Hey, hey I'm a transgender." No, honestly, I got no, 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 no. I'm not saying this, but. No, come on! They cut me short there. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, are we going too politically correct? Out of a, you know, I, I, think, I, 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 I don't want to fight with anyone. But I'm saying, I mean, really, even the Scarlett Johansson case yeah. also, as as in yours. I mean, why can't why can't a black man play Othello? You know. Uh, yeah. Uh, why can't I play a cat monkey as a, as as a theatre? Uh, yeah, that's what know, I'm saying. As, like, a art, as a piece of art. As a piece of art. Why can't X play Y and Y play X? What difference does it really make? As How far as you did poli- justice to it, it gets politicized, and I'm getting scared because it's just a you know a, a story. <laughs> Uh, about two men but and I think, consequently yeah no but i think it's also like you know now that this character has been given so much love by critics and by you know the people community. who watch it okay we were gonna... everyone's super happy about it because finally somebody feels as somebody voicing them yeah representing okay, them okay i'll tell you what we'll do let's be let's we've heard your version but let let the transgender community also have a word yeah. uh, shavan abbas can also say something yes yeah, it uh We don't represent that community. Okay, they apparently okay. don't want. But we do have a show that okay. represents the community. Okay, we're joking about this. Apparently, it's a bit of a problem. Huh? So you be a little careful. I'm going to be uh, very careful, but it's very hard to be careful. Next time, play a woman. Uh, the woman. I'm going to now do uh, shows uh, and films and roles for relief and be the girl coming, next door. Coming back uh, to the girl next door. Yeah. W- the pictures that I've seen, uh, Kuku is very uh, femme fatale looking. She's beautiful, no? So the transgender is not very clear. Yeah, but it. You watch the show, and then you'll see how clear it is. Oh, okay. So moments happen when oops. What no, was that? No, there was no oops. So But yeah. there was like see, and tell me. And the reply is not still... oops. In the eighties, no. everybody said oops. No. Okay, they said ofo. Remember your surfer act. <laughs> no. Ofo. Can you do ofo? Ofo. And in Bengal, they say ofo. Oh, really? I don't know. But... Oh, is it that Chinese for a phone brand? <laughs> yes. Ofo. I don't know. Yes. Right. I've actually launched a lot of their phones. What the hell are you doing? Are you from China? Are you a transgender activist from China? Who's yeah, causing trouble? Yeah, there's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's get back to Netflix. So uh, <laughs> he's going to put me in so much trouble. This Kubra, guy. Kubra, Kubra, tell us about the experience of working. Are you so? Uh, who are you with? You're paired up more with Nawazuddin, right? Uh, so yes. accepted tracks that go on. No, but you he wanted, is my lover. You and wanted I am Saif his. as your lover. They gave you Nawazuddin. Be honest. Tell, be frank. No, I don't think I could have asked <laughs> for a better lover director. than Nawazuddin. I wanted Saif, and Nawaz is a fine actor. But I mean, if I had to, I'm choose Saif. No. Who would you choose? I Nawaz. You would choose Nawaz I over Saif as I a would. lover. Saif, swear, Kubra, dude. swear on my show that you would choose Nawaz as a lover above Saif. I want the truth. I swear to God, I would choose Nawaz as a lover. As a lover, yes, he's too cute. Yeah, he's really? so beautiful with makeup. I'm just Without asking. Without makeup, Nawaz, I'm sorry. We all like you. No, but he's, he's 
lovely. Isn't Saif the better looking man? I mean, generally speaking, from without... Saif is the royal looking man oh, who's got this demeanor. Reverse robbery. I mean, so you don't want the rich guy. Huh? You always want the less rich guy. I am the rich okay. woman. Okay. Who cares about the rich guy? Are you a rich woman? Yeah, yeah. But you're a transgender cuckoo. But that's in the show, silly. But you're not rich there. But in reality, you're rich, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I've got lots to talk about. In yeah. fact, but, uh, <laughs> but quickly, let's uh, finish off with the with the show because that's right. Uh, you know, in everybody's mind at the moment. Um, so, what was it like working with Nawaz? Forget about the love. Fantastic. Uh, the kind of uh, reception he gave me as an actor. Like because what, first he clap time, when you came on set. He actually. He'd stand up when and I say hello, madam. When I stood up, huh. <laughs> are you making a high joke? But he clapped. <laughs> but he clapped. When Unnecessary, Kubra. <laughs> really? <laughs> huh. oh, okay. No, but he's lovely, warm, very, very kind, uh, very giving as an actor. Uh, does not try to be like the one up. I've met him only once, and he seems really like easygoing. He's super kind. You know, yeah. Maybe that's a new breed. Because you think he's got a lot of fame in the last couple of years, a lot of yes, recognition. But he's very uh, real. Yeah. Very real. And grounded, you know, very, very happy grounded, to see you. Sitting in the corner, blends with like, the you know, wall. the set and the wall and everything. <laughs> but you are praising him, but I know what you're saying. But, no, yeah. but he's really nice. Did like, he tell you what to do and all that? Uh, when you're the senior actor, the better known no. actor, do they? Uh, huh? No. Like, Kubra, aisa karo. No. Aisa karo, fir, aisa karo, fir, aisa karo. No, first of all, he doesn't speak like that. I just think anyone from <laughs> above Rajasthan speaks like that. No, that's not true. <laughs> Uh, but no. Uh, no. Please, not true. please tell me. Please tell me. No, huh. he didn't say that. Huh. Uh, he would actually just let me do my thing, and he would be like, "Wow, it's surprising and refreshing to work with somebody who's doing their own thing, and there's magic being created." So basically, there's magical to work. Which with. people perhaps don't know who aren't in the profession is it's all about the little chemistry, and chemistry yeah. is not necessarily just love chemistry. Yeah, it's just just level of comfort. Yeah, like, like how you and I don't have it. Oh, well, we have it. We do have we do it. Have I just came and kissed have. your cheek. That was my cheek. <laughs> what the hell? I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> back to where we were. So no, I want to ask you. Uh, I don't want titillating stories and all because that just lowers the show and oh us as a high standard. Oh God! Yes, of but course. What are, what are the love, love making or love scenes? I think it was fantastic. It was the first day I was shooting. I really? Loved... They went straight into that? Straight. This is Anurag Kashyap. Who, who did this? Anurag. Anurag did this. So you know what's one. running in that mind's. Yeah. In that man's mind I'm thinking from Vasepur It's destroyed him so much I'll do only love God. making scenes For seven years God <laughs> Ram Gopal Verma Still don't do a love making yeah. scene After that oh, yeah. No but he made movies No Julie Yeah yeah. Silly Which you and I have watched Yeah. <laughs> Which you have watched For sure <laughs> You me and Nawaz Come on Love making scene First day That must have been uh, First nerve wrecking uh, well, He just made He just made you feel Like super comfortable More importantly I am somebody Who gets very comfortable So yeah. while Nawaz Is sitting there blending I'll give you that You have no confidence Shortage for sure yeah, But having said that It's still a love making scene Or you know With a person you don't know At all With yeah. all these people around So Let's he made for, it very like uh, Safe Very comfortable Do they push people Out of the set he, They did actually Actually. So who, who who are the? I mean that must be terrible. It's like racism. You'll decide. No, if you're the, not required, you're not. What does it mean? No one sec, one sec. You got eighty people on set there. It's and you send everyone away. No, but like you know, I'm like, but sir, I'm to I'm to try to pick it up. No, no, don't, no, don't, leave. No double meaning. Get out. No, yeah, I'm gonna try. Bas baat log hai the try pot pakadne ke liye. Stop it. <laughs> we can't be vulgar. This we is can't. a beautiful show. Yeah. Beautiful. Family show. National award possible. I've been told. I've got phone calls. Oh, yeah. Oh, like but post 2024. Acha ha. Cool. We're so, just when rising. Aap, when AAP is in charge of the country, oh, and Kejriwal is PM. Sorry. Uh, is yeah. that going to ever happen? Oh, we're joking, but I won't talk. <coughs> <laughs> you may have to do a scene with him. Be very careful. <laughs> yeah, he's a good actor. <laughs> Apparently, aren't they all? Love making scene with Nawazuddin. You're not telling me the story. So well, what he did was he creepily came behind me, picked his uh, ganji into his mouth, and that was his thing. And he would just go like, ha, just, ha, so off ha, camera, ha, on ha, camera, on camera, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then he would do what he's supposed to do, and I wouldn't turn because that's cuckoo ka jadu. Aha. Uh-huh. Fair enough. That's so, what happened. So right off the bat, you're saying it. You just absolutely nailed it. There was no worry. Absolutely not a and, worry in and the then world. When, when you do that, the rest of the scenes. I mean, in terms yeah. Of, then the rest. It's of the almost like boring. It's like I don't know. Can we make yeah. some love here? No, it was like you know, literally the way you meet someone in today's real life. Mm-hmm. You know, you meet them dinner. Get to what you want And they'd be like Yeah mate so Yeah I'm, I can I'm, actually be in love I'm, You're old school I'm not on Tinder Just remember that I met someone yesterday Who That's I met Kunal, on Tinder my friend. Kunal my friend is on Tinder You must have met him Tinder no He's on Tinder no, no, no. <laughs> If you can't pronounce You can't be on That's the law <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even on Facebook oh, You're not on Facebook <laughs> Facebook Oh god uh, Alright so uh, We've done with the show Can we move on I think yes No I mean, No Anurag Kashyap You didn't mention So how was he Fantastic yeah? So he's a very kind Loving I think for me this experience was working with very good people. 
Mm-hmm. Very, very good people. Um, what you're trying to say here is that you felt more like it was an NGO, the way they were. No, it was not for in... free, really. Uh-huh. But they were very like <laughs> caring people towards the transgender there. Okay. Uh, but no, I think Anurag is a professional. Truly knows. But truly w- knows what his character is and what he wants out of the character, and he knows his actor who he takes his time to. Understand. So he's a very human psyche kind of a person. Does he call you Juhu for late night sessions, reading the no, script? No, he actually or? lives in Andheri. Well, so I wouldn't go. Why did he call me to Juhu? <laughs> Damn. Damn it. Now you know what he wanted from you. Okay, last question on this whole love making nonsense. Not nonsense, which was all part of the thing. Did, were you intimidated at all doing a character which is a transgender no. with uh, sort of over the top scenes? No. Because now you're on, on, on a web telecast, you know, you're not holding back. And with a very seasoned actor. So were you scared for a second? I was uh, nervous. You were jumping into like the, the sharks. No, I was nervous. Uh, which is a fair emotion to have when you're doing something. As nervous big, as you know. were when you entered this podcast? No. Oh shoot! <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say to Uncle Cyrus. <laughs> uh, no, but I think it'll, it'll be great for your resume as well, in the sense that you've done something. A lot of actors with a huge body of work would never play a transgender, would never have had uh, you know really powerful scenes with uh, one of the leading character actors who's not known to be your classical conventional hero. You know, so you've, you've ticked a lot of boxes in terms of what what you've done here. I think it was uh, you know I have always been at this stage in my life where anything good comes to me, I grab it with both hands. So when this came, uh, you know, my way, I was like, there's no way I'm going to sit and, you know, put down a SWOT analysis and pros and cons. You I'm know, just going to do run. it. Last time I grabbed something with both hands, she filed a report in the police station and it took a long time. I'm really to- sorry, Sais, you have to keep your hands to yourself. Sure. I mean, you've got... You think Good so- stuff happening myself, up here. Huh? Like, huh? Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Can you do what I can do? No, uh-huh. I can't. But Salman Khan can do what you do. So what? Now I have to go to Salman Khan and show him that I can move my chest? Why not? And he gives me a role. Good it. actor. Do it. Good actor. <laughs> can you say yeah? With yeah. a dandra accent? Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, do your, now, does your chest move to music? Uh, my, everything moves to music. Really? Yeah, but the right kind of music. Huh? Okay, fine. What's and your kind of music? Music is subjective. You okay. don't want to know my okay, kind of music. Fine. Because the kind of music I like, the people are already dead. Or most of them. Or will be this week. Kupra, we need to talk about this week we need to talk about lots of things quickly yes. because we have only a limited because we have so many sponsors on, on our show and yeah. we hardly get any time to talk absolutely I mean every got second like I've links. got a commercial break you know yeah. right now there's one overriding us yeah. oh, probably about a plane flying in the background <laughs> a new private plane that you can you know for 40,000 bucks did you know that for 40,000 bucks you can take a flight around Mumbai Really? Yeah. What is the price of the flight that you can take from uh, to beat the Bangalore traffic? There's a helicopter. Do you know Listen, that? Listen, now that you mention it, what the hell is wrong with your city? I have no idea, What have you man. done to Bangalore? Why do you think I you left know, this city? I, I, I made a nice comment. We were going through a research. Abbas sent me and I just said, all the guys from Bangalore, all the kids, the girls, the guys who come in, they're always well-educated. Yeah. And then they land up being, becoming actors and anchors. and yeah, I, Is that a bad thing? Or a... No, it's lovely. But okay. saying, <laughs> you look at their resume, but they're always well-educated. You never say, oh, drop out, he's an actor now. No, Mumbai, no, you'll no. say a lot of that. But, yeah. but here in Bangalore, you all have these great resumes. It was a city like that. The city was like a progressive city where yes. everybody was educated and the civic infrastructure was lovely. Yeah, and, and then and we decided to... to just bring everyone and put them there and say, no, no, we software. Banai. <laughs> sounding like the MNS. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh. No, software. <laughs> no, but, but, but software was the thing, right? And throughout yeah. the 90s when we but were... But we never grew with the software. We never grew with technology, unfortunately. Why but did it you still move got sold. the airport to... Kerala. I it didn't. made no sense. I firstly, didn't. when it was next to kids camp, I remember I see that kids camp thing and I'm nearing it. You remember okay. seeing those um, uh, yeah. Mickey Mouse and everything? Aray, Baba, that was the cut that we'll make the plane now because the MTV was so cheap, they would never keep us overnight. Oh. So we'll make that last 8 o'clock flight from Bangalore, they would, you know, we'd drive fast, blah, blah, blah. You see the kids camp, say, okay, 10 minutes, I'll go. You know, ah. that kind of thing. So I'll never forget that. That was like a thing for me. I, my heart would stop beating fast. Uh, that and when, you know, for other reasons. Uh, the Mickey Mouse but, at but, kids but, camp. But, but, but now, everybody takes different flights. You take the flight before. For, to take the, for the next day of flight because you know you can't take a chance with the no, more traffic you just cannot I mean there have been times when I've decided to leave home like one hour before like one hour just travel time. Oh, wait, where do you stay? Just... Bangalore proper city? yeah like Fraser Town like La Promenade Road and huh. stuff yeah. so how long would it have been in the old days to the airport? 20 minutes yeah and now? In an the hour evening and 20 and morning? minutes an hour oh in, yeah hour and 20 minutes if you're lucky an hour and 20 if you're lucky otherwise an hour and a half and then you know you actually do all this you so know, where's Anurag Kashyap and Nawaz in Siddiqui now? Right now, Nawaz them. is in Rome. Yeah, uh, in and, bloody uh, Rome. Anurag is in... Uh, Lokanwala, which is like Rome. No, re, he's huh. in uh, Istanbul. Istanbul. Hmm. What the hell is he doing in Istanbul? Uh, apparently, he's eating uh, some steaks Who at pays for that? He He's eating animals which aren't allowed in uh, India? Of course, I'm going to travel too and eat them. How dare you? Oh, I'll make some food You calls. sound like MNS. <laughs> <laughs> MNS doesn't have trouble with steak. You, you, you don't know your politics. <laughs> MNS I'm actually a very apolitical yeah. person. I don't care. That's the center. Don't you understand where it's coming from? Mm. All right. Do you know who's at the center? 
Who? <laughs> I'm joking. Come really? on, I'm not yeah. mentioning names here. In Bangalore, your, your fellow cries a lot, huh? Be, yeah, he be, does. Be, he does. Be, <laughs> I did not want this. You just I mentioned like... Kejriwal and acting, but I'm thinking honestly, we have the amongst the best actors in India. I really right think. Right there, yeah. and I think they make no. great lovers. <laughs> Wait, how does Nawazuddin know who? How do you know this? No, I'm <laughs> just What's the connect? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You've been so politically incorrect. I feel safe now. Oh, yeah. good. Hmm. Yeah. Safe as in S A I F. Safe, Ali Khan. Oh, good lord! No. Can we move from the so quickly re- reactions? Uh, yes. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody, the, the show's got a lot of hype. You're on a very, very well received show. Thank so, you. So what, what, what are the reactions? I think it's fantastic because uh, I didn't know it's going to be this big. I knew we were working towards something ginormous, mm-hmm. but didn't know it's going to be received so well. Uh, personally, the reception has been overwhelming. I always wanted to be famous. I came like everybody comes to Bombay to be famous, no matter how well educated you are. But um, to finally, you know, see memes being made and, you know, like these uh, video clips being made with like cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo everywhere. I think it's overwhelming. And like uh, earlier it used to be like, uh, you hosted my uncle's daughter's wedding. And now you can like hear people going like, but why can't you just say my cousin, my uncle's daughter? I mean, no, but you know how they are, right? What you know my that? uncle's daughter. And maybe you. it's not their real uncle. Maybe it was ah. like somebody they call uncle. Moboli uncle. The one yeah. who winks at me and says, sit on my lap when you're yeah. 21 years old. Yeah. 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 What did they tell me? I'm 46. <laughs> you're supposed to be telling the kids. Oh, I'm the uncle. Yeah. <laughs> Which person, kid or adult, will sit on my lap? My legs will it's stop shaking. It's quite squishy, no? Huh? This is. Let me tell I scored quite heavy. Huh? This is mm. all lies. Mm. What Kunal tells you. Mm. In the bedroom <laughs> with me. Why are you good? digressing on the subject? I want to talk to you about how well this show is. No, I think it's been overwhelming. You... I love this new phase of celebrity hood. Do you think now they'll typecast you as a person who plays challenging roles because I you play transgender? I hope not. Because no, why? I but think it's challenging, challenging to roles? play girl next door for me. Okay. I think it's challenging for me to dance See, you like Tiger Shroff. One of those people say it's a difficult role Call Kubra. I think that's going to be quite uh, flattering. That was my question, Kubra, for which we wasted five minutes going back and forth. I'm really sorry, but I talk a lot, Cyrus. You do. Oh, I, shut I, up. I, I the funny part is, you are feeling cold and I'm sweating. See how people are different? Mm. It's all because of our cheap producer and our no. cheap sound person. I want okay, cheap a heater proprietor. on this side. And I will never call Amit Doshi names because he's our proprietor and we should not. Yeah, but for he, some reason... He looks like Amit Shah, no? That same guy. Oh, jeez. You took a lot of money with Amit Shah and the two, three more. H.P. Kumaraswamy. Uh, the entire state of Kerala yeah. all, the software, all the software people in, in Bangalore oh, good Lord, which is yeah. 92% and yeah. batting so basically only Rahul Dravid is uh, safe at the moment and Rahul Gandhi as well you're a big fan do you want me to hug you? <laughs> which makes me um, we'll take a break we'll take a break did I just catch you on your way to work or did you end up pulling an all nighter let me guess You have a packed schedule for the day, the week, and probably the month and the year. That's a lot for your mind to handle, don't you think? This buzzing chaos also brings tons of negative thoughts. Am I right? Try spinning that bottle in a positive direction with me, Chetna, on the Positively Unlimited podcast, every Monday on IBM Podcasts. It's time to change your life one alphabet at a time. Okay, back here in Australia. Hello. With, with Kubra Sight, who's known for her uh, voiceovers as well. Uh, Kubra, now let's go back to your life. Come on, my I've life. actually uh, met you many years ago, right? Uh, you actually ate events. biryani with my mother many. That is, that I remember. That was recently, but it's some yeah. event we did also. You yeah. worked with MTV. Do you know what you did I'm trying to at remember. that event? Yeah. You just decided to call your own show flow. Really? Yeah, you just walked on stage and said, okay, now break for lunch. And the event manager lost their shit. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, no, no, call them back. I was like, no, but Rocha will do whatever he wants to. <laughs> but that doesn't sound like me. Oh, of course. Come on, really? What would I break? So delusional, so. Rocha is. No, but I, I don't upset the event company because I, I don't want them to come after me in the evening and talk and all that. Yeah, give my money back. Yeah. No, money's already gone. Oh. Now, we are, now we are the extortionists. Okay. In the old days, I think before you started, they were, we've done so many events where the guys disappeared. Really? I remember Mini Mathur doing one in high Hyderabad, huh. where we actually finish the event on stage with people clapping and all that, you know, rock event, with bands and all that. We finish and the guys, mobile phones off, the two organizers and they're gone. Are you serious? So I had to pay, we had to pay the hotel bill in the Taj and then uh, luckily the ticket had, was paid for the return in the morning but I had to pay the bill. 
and wow. we could look at them we could not find them that's amazing but did you get the money the fees but for today, the show no today nawazuddin no. and uh, kashyap are doing so well with the netflix and all that what <laughs> what no no, no. <laughs> that's not them but i'm just saying no we didn't get the money we got no money I so see. now that's why this whole business has turned where you basically uh, take the money uh, before yeah. you step on stage so your manager who you were talking to for 45 minutes and holding us up sweetie uh we'll, he's a good guy yeah and must take the money up front actually There's he's no, not my manager yet oh so what is it We've got the relationship that we're about to embark upon. Oops. Oops. Okay. Does he know you're actually a k- kiku, kuku? He does know I'm kuku, but not in real life. No. No, no. Of yeah, course. He's seen not. my wallpapers like you have. Don't worry. You're very pretty. You don't need me to. Don't fish for compliments. Oh, thank you. In any case, uh, you know, have you seen my? Pink nothing pretty cheeks? comes next to me. So. Trust me. <laughs> oh. Whichever so, I'm sitting in front of cheeks? you, no. What cheeks? My pink cheeks. Your pink cheeks? Yeah. Don't you see them? They're blushing right yeah, now. Yeah, they are slightly pink. Yeah. yeah no? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, anything else you'd like to comment upon and then we'll know, focus on that for five minutes. I've got green eyes. <laughs> You've got green eyes? Let me see. Oh, really? You haven't seen them? Oh, yeah, you do have green eyes. That's I'm, what I'm saying. See, I'm old, man. I can't see anything. You need to... I saw the nose ring. I find the nose ring a huge turn on, by the way. Really? Yeah. Thank no, you. No, it's my men, grandmother's. But I think Indian women, good-looking Indian women, who have nose rings, I just find it very I sexy. I find it very sexy. And then Indian men with nose rings, for me, it's the opposite feeling. I Same. actually have tried to kill myself when I passed a man with a nose ring. I don't no, know why. Really? No. Uh, in liberal India, you should allow everyone yeah, to Yeah, to do what they want to do. Yeah. But no, I don't fancy it. But maybe it was more his nose than the ring, but I couldn't bear it. <laughs> yeah, Kubla, I want to talk about you. We have only so much time and you're going on talking non-stop. 90 40 to a minutes, we've already done this. Then, then I know you've discussed I think no, that's 40 love making with Nawazuddin. Should have finished in 5, 10 takes. <laughs> He's a late comer. What's your problem? Ah. Ah. Yeah, after abusing the entire parliament and 50,000 other states around, giving a few kicks to an actor is not going to bother us. <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah. Although we do like Nawazuddin and we apologize because one day we hope to have him on the show with a slightly uh, lowered mic. Now, oh, good. let's go back to your life. Born in Bangalore. Yes. All right. Um, so, what's the background like? Because you're uh, once again on Bangalore urban yuppie finance and marketing yeah. major from NIM and information sciences in Bangalore. Yes. So, what happened? What went wrong? Why? Why aren't you? No. So, what bank? happened was the only jobs that was being offered was like call center jobs. And really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you're, call you're center finance jobs. and marketing degree. Yeah, but call center jobs, like you know, like hi, can I help you? Maybe sort out your financial shit. Oh, that. Like way. behind a screen. That was the kind of job. I was being offered and I just refused to take that You didn't up. show these uh, managers your green eyes? No, I didn't. Oh, well, mm. these things work for you, I thought. No, they don't. Trust no. me, they don't. No, no, no. Not on a radio podcast. No. Because <laughs> you can really exploit it. Uh-huh. No, but then uh, I told my mom that I will not work in Bangalore. because. So what, just sorry, what work. is the mom-dad background? What, what kind of work would you have come So from? mom is a single parent. Okay. She's uh, somebody who, you know, kind of decided to take the reins of the family and, you know, be like... I'm the boss and she, you know, made sure that we sailed through. Uh, so she's been like the captain of the ship. You saw my awkward silence immediately when not doing my research properly. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, but uh, it's so also dad like... dad didn't play an influence? Dad has been the bystander. Good kid. But <coughs> he just stood and watched the show. It's the Indian male thing. It's quite cool actually. Yeah. Like, like literally so... I'm not trying to make we, this like a soppy... We are the watchers soppy... and the women are the movers and shakers. It's been going on for years. No, no but like I'm not trying to make this like a soppy, like uh, what is called GC show. Yeah. But uh, if mama had to just turn around and say, Dekho na, look what the children are doing. Thawar, thawar, thawar. The belt used to come. Like, he just... Really? Yeah, yeah he was like... He's orthodox. I think so. He never let me wear a black uh, short that's dress. Or- that's orthodox. Uh, the slightly chauvinistic about the daughter. But I'm saying orthodox in thinking about professions and all that. I'm. I don't know if he really understands it because if I do have a conversation with him, his question to me would be like. But his daughter is playing a transgender in a uh, hugely popular Netflix show. Why do you think I'm able to do it? With because love I didn't, scenes. No, but I did not have to ask. His he permission. should have allowed you to wear the skirt. <laughs> but he didn't. Ah, so that's so why you're I kind of. I rebelled. You rebelled for some reason. Yeah. So mom was a strong one. Mom yeah. brought you up. Mom's very big influence, is it? Super and like. Uh, makes a great biryani, which I have eaten. So yes, I know. and and she's our manager as well. Oh. Yeah, like on. Paper on board and in life. Let's talk about Danish, your brother, as well. So he's also in the business. I've yes. s- I saw him on Star TV recently. Cricket. Uh, he's pretty show. good. Very no? good. Very good. Yeah. Pretty good. And I remember he's even come to our office and met us a couple of times. We right. have no budget, so good he went to Star TV. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so all what I'm saying is so both of you got into the performing yes. sort of thing. Uh, he, but in he, his our own individual comedy, ways. comedy style, yeah. and yours was more. Also, act- he started with radio. Yeah. And I started with Microsoft. So it's been like wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. He sounds like the loser. He started the radio. I got Microsoft. <laughs> yeah, I got. Yeah, what the hell are you saying? I'm the older yeah. sister, man. Oh. I'm supposed to like kind of like up my skills. Yes, yeah, so you went to Dubai. What is that bit in your so story? So I worked in a cookie shop. That was my first job. Hmm. And then I decided cookies. What's a cookie not shop? Good. Selling cookies. Yeah, I literally stood outside the shop, going like, "Will you please buy some cookies?" And then lure them into the so store love, with my green eyes. Love making with Nawazuddin is nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Imagine yeah. people are not interested in holding cookies and they are just yeah. like, walk, please try my chocolate chip cookies. That sounds again. Mm. It's too many metaphors and double and tondo throughout the show. I'll have to digest it later. Yeah. Uh, and that was fairly successful. You think these things help uh, when you're an actor? I think it does. In the sense that you have to do strange kind of jobs, you interact with different people, you're in a different culture, different yeah. country, yeah. and you're a nobody. Yeah. Does that help you somewhere? It helps, a, it helps you build a lot of character. Yeah. Uh, and not because you need to influence o- other ac- characters. Except rejection, maybe, because they say no to the cookies. No, they? actually, I've heard a lot of no's in my life. Really? And I'm actually very comfortable with no's now. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't asked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tease me. Actually, I haven't asked. Seriously, when pretty women tease old men, it's, it's amongst the most vulgar and It's a very mean. cocky thing to do. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you can have your double entendre. I will never interrupt that. But my <laughs> point is, I just feel sad. I feel it's horrific. It's like torture. I'm sorry. Because they just patronize you and make you feel a little yeah. special. But and then five minutes later, Cyrus. if you dare call them back, a young Abbas, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the, the humiliation is complete now Nawaz is trying to call her offset nothing nothing phone is off not happening but he's Dubai. actually romancing other people in Rome right is he now. Mm. he Who? put it up he put a tweet out it's true see Abbas knows he attacks an Italian girl yeah okay so he's doing the Italian job is it <laughs> <laughs> good setup. good punch alright moving on Dubai what yeah else? so uh, started with a cookie shop moved on to software then worked at Microsoft for like Three years of my life Decided it was too boring I really never excelled at Excel And then decided to move uh, To Bombay Is that a line that's been practiced? Very It sounded like I was talking to me Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've okay. done this before <laughs> Yeah And I was like I can't do this Let me come to Bombay And struggle but in style Yeah but you did a lot of hosting all In, in Bangalore yeah. as well right? As a kid I've hosted shows for you Yeah Like I, I, I've introduced you on stage and stuff I remember So but at those t- You were already doing that so yeah. And you were getting paid yeah, but so, very little money. I mean, as but compared your to foot was in the door, no? Yes. So and I always knew I had the gift of the gab, and I would be paid to talk and stuff like that. So I had actually built on this tagline a long time ago. You know, as a college student, uh, then I moved to Dubai, and uh, working on events kind of helped. You know, buy for my fancy shoes and bags, and then I said I should maybe do this professionally because it makes me happy. You also won some awards, which are, uh, let me say, as a follower of sport, if, for example, if, if you won Wimbledon, yeah. I probably would know, you know, 1991 yeah, no. Michael Stick, for example. You just ask me and I'll know. Or you ask me cricket uh, series, you know, 71 India, West Indies, I know that we beat them for the first time. And, you know, those statistics stay in your head. But when I come to these special statistics, awards, yeah. I don't recall them. But you I know, it's, go, the best it's because MC, it's a very, it's a niche. Female. No, it's wonderful, but I'm surprised okay. that I haven't. You know, put this in my head. Don't worry, I'll send you the list of awards. The best MC send you fe- photographs of the best MC female award at the Live Quotient Awards. Yes. So what did actually, I miss that? So Live Quotient is one of your events trade magazines and event trade, uh, you know, um, conventions. Okay. Wherein they applaud artists, and they've done this now for about four years. So who won the and best managed, male? So this year, Danish and I won it together. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that that sounds a little Indian, you know, like you know the yeah, family yeah. winning things together. Just, I know. I, I'm not. Yeah, but we didn't, we didn't questions will award. be asked, young lady. Questions we did will be not asked. pay for these awards. Okay. Then there's also the what is this? The other one, um, the Wow Asia Award for the best MC. Yeah. And oh, that's a separate one. So the Wow Asia, what is that? So it's basically you know we had to submit our entries and be like, this is what we did in the last year, and then we had like an auditing team who audited it and be like, yeah, okay, so you win this award because you've actually done some when good it's work. Asia, so it's across. Yeah. So I mean, I'm sure so by people Asia, received we mean India, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. Yeah, or they more? they did send it. They yeah. they had like entries so coming from all over China Japan and all the big yeah maybe their anchors okay. are not as good as you and me ha I won no awards Miss <laughs> that means I'm better than you <laughs> the hell why does she have to make me feel bad <laughs> Ma- you made yourself Miss feel personality bad. title at the Miss India oh so you yeah. want a Miss personality title yeah Miss they were India like you're not too beautiful title. but we'll give you Miss personality so you took part in the Miss India 
Miss India worldwide. You're another bloody Miss India. Aren't Miss you? India no, worldwide. Cancel the podcast. You're. What Miss, do you mean worldwide? What do you mean? Miss make? India worldwide. Different Once pageant. Once you hear Miss India in the first half of the sentence, if it comes after that they are Miss India in their sixties, also doesn't matter. It is Miss. There is Mrs. India also. I know. I know. Mrs. Uh, India. Car. I, I, I don't know. Like, I took part in Mrs. India, but because of the swimsuit round, they caught on and. Oh, honey. Yeah. They thought you were a whale shark. No, I won it. <laughs> That's up. when they investigated the matter. Yeah, <laughs> but whale shark is Honey. funny. Stick with it. why whale shark? It the just mouth, sounds big. <laughs> the body, the ah. spots. Mm. <laughs> this is a woman who romances Nawazuddin and makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> you prefer him to Saif, so where do I stand in all this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, before we wind up, so lots of other things happening right now. Of course, you're still a uh, you still do your hosting and all that's still I do. in demand. And that's my cash cow. I love it. It's a cash cow, and you know you've got a lot of clients who come back because they like your work. Uh, what else? Uh, now this is obviously going to change your life a little bit. You're going to get. More I feel so. Yeah. yeah. I, I would. I would. I would like to now pick the work that's you know coming my way and be wise about saying the right no's. Than to say yes so to is, everything. Are we having like a parallel growth here of uh, independent cinema, which which will be the secret game sort of cinema, as well as the uh, normal commercial Hindi, yes. commercial commercial. I'm going to do that. I'm, I've all so my journey started with like so-called commercial cinema, right? Correct. Ready, oh, and Sultan. That, yeah. Ready and Sultan. These yeah. are commercial films. I think so. That would be the right word. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> these are like hardcore commercial mm. films. So, of course, if you say Ready Sultan, you normally talk about the harem. <laughs> <laughs> Sultan Ready. Ah, okay. <laughs> Come on. Sorry about that. You <laughs> raised the standard. I'm following it. So oh, thank I, please you. take fifty percent blame. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take all the blame. Okay. Now. So quickly set it up for what's coming next then. Uh, so I'm office? right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, trying to get a manager on board. Mm -hmm. So you know, I kind of get some advice and some. You know. A place where I can have a sounding board. But now you're in that Kashyap camp, right? So you'll probably. There's no camp. Kashyap has no camp. Well, Kashyap is alone. You need to meet him. He's sad. Really? Yeah. That's why he's in Istanbul. Yeah, he's okay. all by himself, exploring. Right. Exploring what? I don't know. It's the same government. The blue they mosque. Want. <laughs> I know the blue mosque. I've been to Istanbul three or four times. The same four things they make you visit. Otherwise, you know, you. Have you been stupid. to the Basilia yeah. Cistern? Cistern yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I love it. The blue mosque. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is beautiful. As long as you, know, I've noticed wherever there are less Indians, it's easier to watch. Fair. 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 Point? Actually. Listen, I have to say this. Yeah. I think it's easier to watch a place or absorb a place where there are less Japanese. Well, I like Japanese because they're very they're, disciplined. At seven in the also, morning, they're out with their cameras. Correct. So and they squat that. and they take pictures. And they won't come in your so way. So Danish is damn funny. When yeah. we go on our holidays, he like go to a place and he sees a uh, mama. Uh, what, what, is he, jaga what, what does he call you, mama? He didn't call me mama. He calls mama, mama. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. He calls me didi. Okay. So okay. Do the whole thing again. I, I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll translate into Japanese. So. Ah, ah. <laughs> that is terrible. Ah, so what does he say? What does he say? So he'll be like, oh, we've come to the right place because these guys are here. Yeah. They, they're here. That but means they're the right place. But that's a good point because they're superb. They absolutely get it right. They will yeah. not waste a minute of the day. No. And they're all very happy. Spots. They all, they'll do it all. They're very clinical and happy about where they are. You know, if you show them a wall yeah. and it's just a wall and it's not Beijing, I'm just talking about a wall. Say yeah. somewhere in Baikala or something. They'll just take pictures and yeah, say, "Wow, they're like wall. Yeah, wall. Yeah. It is as yeah. it is. It yeah. is what it is. Wall. There you go. I love it. All right, Kubra. Listen, we have to wrap it up. Anything you like? Don't go. Uh, Don't let me. What go. is going viral? Is that on as well? Is so that... going viral is a show on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think that was my first foray into acting. Really, it's already out. It's out. Okay. And it's like the first thing that I thought I had acted in because for the first time I had actually shed inhibitions of Kubra right. and played Natasha. And I think it just kind of got way better and way more Did you polished. Have any love making scenes with Anuva Pal, because then I'd watch it. Because I really like him. I met a loss of words. So that's mean. I'll just put it out there for the viewer or listener rather. Uh, you like Nawazuddin Shah? I have no problem with erotic He's, uh, images. Nawazuddin of... Siddiqui, man. <laughs> Nawazuddin Shah, Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Who cares? The point is, the point is, the point is, you like Nawazuddin, but that's a compliment to him because I associated him with Nasir. <laughs> I, I think it's a compliment. Okay. I don't, I don't think it's a compliment. I think it's a compliment. Okay, it's Nasir so, sir's so you, birthday you a few mind, days ago. Nasir sir, don't say Even he doesn't like it. Not from a good looking woman. Maybe from me. Nasir I sir, happy birthday. Can you call him bye, birthday. please? Uh, no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we have no friends left. We've lost <laughs> we parliament already. <laughs> so, you're okay with Nawazuddin for erotic scenes. But uh, Anubhav Pal is not up to it. I can hold him Khan, in no? both my hands. What? Yeah. Like this. That's a real piece I can't of, hold you that's with like a yeah. From where I come from. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay quick, quick, wait, let's squeeze a couple more points in which I forgot to mention. I'm dying to know. You also You're like, not dying to know anything. No, no, I, I want to know what is zip lining and what what is jumping off planes? Is that for sure? For oh real? yeah, that's something that I do. I just got back from a holiday from Maldives. So uh, what is zip lining? 
I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. But I'm a diver. It's not dirty, right? No. Okay, go. <laughs> so I'm a diver. Climb, I climb mountains. I'm the idiot who's wearing those button shorts. <laughs> like, sorry, go on. That's really hip, actually. I know, I know. You Takes remember the controversy? To, when you're dying to pee, it's a real headache. Real headache. Yeah. So they never come off with the right. Yeah. Five okay, buttons, fine. one more button. Why are you doing it? I don't know. But maybe I'm used to like what? my character. I'm still in the skin of the <laughs> yeah, character. The character's really got to you. Yeah. Okay, okay, quickly. Zip lining and jumping off planes. So I'm basically, uh, when I'm not working, doing the different, hundred different things that I'm doing. Uh, then I climb mountains, I go diving, I zip line. So zip line is basically when you've got these huge, um, a really hard metal wires from point A to point B and it could be ah. like and then you wear this harness uh, and like you just Schwarzenegger scream. in that uh, movie where he goes across the building correct where you just scream so and go from like one ma- b- you know what is the safety point here they tie you to something no? yeah you have a harness so if in case you kind of like Fall. whatever falls yeah. then you would actually suspend like a like a bungee yeah. jump it'll happen something like so that so you go into a bungee so jump so I've actually done a bungee jump as well yeah was it fun? fun Lots of fun. I actually shat myself a few times. I know. I, I don't know why people want to do that. Man. I do it all the time. I jumped off a plane as well. That's what's written have there. Have you ever been in a Burivli local in Mumbai? I mean, I mean, well, that you don't enough? have to jump off. They push God, you off. Same, you, 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 your same. body parts are missing. And I mean, the same feeling of blood rush and all that. Body parts? Yeah, you, you feel uh, traumatized. You just ask a Mumbai I actually you. traveled in train, not to sound elite, but I traveled in a train for fun. Like to that, how will that not sound elite? Have you seen what it's like for Mumbai going to work? Yeah, you I say, know. I'm going but for that's why, but that's why I'm dying every day. Are, but, every day is dying. But that's why I'm from Bangalore, and I'm, my heart is in. And it. that's why God is not punishing you with that bloody airport five thousand miles away. Correct. It'll make you suffer. They're like, and, and now the you take train, no? And the morning traffic is so no, bad. No, now I'll take so helicopter bad, no, to the airport. <laughs> no, I can't think of anything else except Bangalore traffic. See what you've done to my head. I just can't get my. Head. Thing around it I just have to go on Talking about it For the it's next two fine. hours It's fine I'll give you a hug After the show Alright Which city do you like better Mumbai or Bangalore Bangaluru I like uh, Oops You don't want to Give the homeboy a, a shout here I love Bangalore I'm a Bangalore. No but but nahi hoga But but nahi hoga When you no. say I love Bangalore But That's like Mark Anthony's speech You're going to stab him now Aren't you <laughs> Go on I really love Bangalore But But I two. live in but. Bombay But <laughs> But I live but, in but, Bombay But 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 what What but I love living in Bombay. And you love going on the train for fun while other people are suffering, trying to catch the local in the that morning to reach their work. That is true. Okay, Kura, I've been pulling your leg and you have lovely legs. I must say, if you don't want me to say that. Um, I think you've done really well. This is a great show. You're all over the place. And uh, hopefully you'll come and talk to us and tell us about live sessions with Commune because we've run out of time. One I'm a storyteller. Okay, start telling a story as you wind up. Go on. Wow, stop putting me on this... What? But you said you're a storyteller. Tell a bloody story. Come no, on. but I prepare for my stories. No, no, I don't on. go impromptu. You're on a show where nobody prepares. Stories. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil the, the show. The show allowed. that is already spoiled. It's unprepared. <laughs> it's an unprepared show. Yeah, actually, you are the one who's less prepared. I'm always less. So prepared. once upon a time, God made me less prepared. <laughs> Should have worked harder. It's all your fault, big man or uh, woman. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. Well, I take a chance. Yeah. All right. Yeah. After, you, after playing transgender, you better be careful. I, I oh. better be very careful. Are you more sensitized now to everyone? Yes. You think so? You, you think if everyone acted as somebody else, they'd understand what it's like? It's true. A little bit? It is true. I agree with you. you That's want, the most profound thing you've said on the show. You want to be me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kubra. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so it's going to be a great week on IVM this week. We have a brand new podcast launching Wordy Wordpecker with Rachel Lopez. Every Tuesday, Rachel is going to break down fascinating words and why they mean what they mean. The show releases on the 21st of August. Be sure to check it out. And we have another new show launching as well. Know Your Kanun, hosted by lawyer Ambar Rana, where he addresses all law-related questions and gives us insights into the legal system of India. On Cyrus Says this week, Cyrus chats with actor Kubra Seth about the experience of making sacred games, life post the show, and her body of work. On Colabra Cartel, we have Jeremy Buck and Sandeep Hathiramani, the experts behind the bar at Misty. They talk about the innovative cocktails they put on that menu. On the Vishal Gondal Show, Vishal speaks to Milind Devra about his interest in music, his vision for the country, and a hell of a lot more. Coach Urmi talks to actor and model Sarah Jane Dias about her fitness inspiration on the Kinetic Living podcast this week. And don't miss out on the final episode of Marvel's Lost and Found for this first season, Therapy 101, hosted by Zan and Avanti. Also, guys, we're looking for a new producer, a social media intern, and a graphic designer. If you are interested in working with IVM and it's a cool bunch of people to work with, please send us an email to jobs at indusbox.com. Also, please make sure you're following us on social media if you're not. We're IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. 
If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail.com. All right, time for the AMAs. Cobra Seth has left the building because parking is a problem in Mumbai, as you know, so we can't keep her for more than the required time. Who's going to pay that extra? Not me. But we have uh, the entry of Surbi. Yeah, what's up? And uh, we also have Abbas for some reason. Yeah. Who produces, <laughs> produces the show, so you have a, a right to be here more than me. Okay, uh, who's opening? I'm asking you a few questions. No, that's rubbish. That's sexist. <laughs> Why should the girl always open? Ladies, ladies first. first. No, I don't like that. Okay, you know what? You what, go what about ahead, the gay Abbas? community? I mean, oh, she went back. I mean, I mean there's so many people we're leaving out here. What, what about the caste issues we have? No, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll talk. See, I came here to laze around. Now you pissed her off. Now she's given me to ask the questions. So now okay. I have to ask them. Okay, we got some really interesting questions. Typ- uh, typical woman. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> that was you. <laughs> okay, go on. Okay, Vinay Nair uh, says, Hi, Cyrus. Hi, Vinay. If you had hosted Foodie and Kunal had hosted Bakra, how different would the shows be to what they are currently? Uh, very different. Kunal has uh, no patience and no interest in uh, people. So he would have not survived Bakra more than five minutes. Honestly, and he feels that I was very cruel, and he can't do that. He used to tell me, you know, you've got a cruel streak in you. I can't do that. I, I said, you, you, you're the kind of person who abuses everybody we pass. <laughs> and you're telling me I have a cruel streak in me. I was just play acting, and we say sorry and hug people, just like Raga and Namo. If you remember. But what one. if you hosted Foodie? I don't mind. I would have hosted Foodie happily. What is the, the easiest oh, yeah. show? Oh, okay, you can do any show. <laughs> no, but what? What? Okay, one second. Let's let's, let's look <laughs> no, at see, this. It's also about uh, you. Don't need a double MBA to host a <laughs> effing food show. They take you to the food oh place. God. You eat it. You make food I sounds. I really hope Kunal is listening to this. You episode. make food sounds and you give your opinion. Any moron can do that. <laughs> oh my God, Kunal, are you there? Are you listening? <laughs> I, I saw his food Lucknow episode. Yeah, he yeah. mingled with everybody. He got to know the culture and stuff. You would have just eaten the food. <laughs> yeah. You're telling me that he's a more people person than me, Abbas? Have you That's no what it looks like on the TV. <laughs> I, I, I obviously think you're on some medication which has to be stopped immediately because you're not making any sense whatsoever. I would have happily done foodie. I'm still willing to do foodie. Please call me. And uh, Kunal, by the way, wants to stop working. He's told me very clearly. Okay. He wants to do something else. Are these Ma- industry insights you're letting out? What would he say? like Ratan Tata. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us. All right. Okay, the next question is from Anand, Anand Hegde. Yeah. He says, Hey Cyrus, a hypothetical situation. Which one of these options would you choose and why? Option one, no runners or traffic issues on the roads of Bombay for one year or no AC at home, office, car or any public place for one year. See, that's a very mean question, but I understand your, what you're saying. The, if with no AC in uh, 45 degrees, Mumbai, humidity and all that, it's just death. Mm. So, I mean, I'll, I have you to choose the AC I have to live. You know, yeah. while with the runners and all, at the most, it'd be criminal cases, you know, at police stations because you've killed a runner. So, but you have a chance because uh, the police may feel the same thing as you. <laughs> I said, okay, go, one to go, to go. Police stations don't have but, ACs. But, but it's also the runners. The, really? Yeah, hello, hello. Break. Hello, I've been to Hajeli. They've got a superb state of the art. Uh, they've got like 47,000 cameras and all. It's beautiful. I okay. think we should move the podcast there. Their, their <laughs> equipment is better. Plus, you'll always have a guest because someone will be arrested. <laughs> At any point, someone is arrested. Just talk to them. You're saying something about the runners. No, I, I'm saying it's not just the runners. Runners irritate me. The cyclists irritate me. But the bikers. Abbas, do you have a bike? No, I don't. Okay, never get a bike because then you're not my friend. Uh, bikers have gone berserk uh, in Mumbai. Our sound guy has a bike. Uh, our sound guy whose name we will not mention because it's like Harry Potter for some reason. Uh, yeah, the, the bike. Uh, he arrogantly parked it outside the gate, by the way. I took 15 minutes to park my car after that. You know, j- they just park it. It's like a, it's too small a vehicle for anyone to bother. We'll just park it here and then you figure it out. Uh, lots of cities, the entries have been cancelled because they put bikes outside. Nobody can get in. you got to be careful. Stop yeah. talking about Pune that way, Cyrus. Yes. <laughs> What about cycles? Did I mention cycles? What about rickshaws? Rickshaw? What about people? people? from South yeah. Bombay. We have no, nothing to do with rickshaws. People? Are you mad? Every time I'm this side of town, the rickshaws, they scar me. I've, the rickshaw is the worst vehicle in the world in terms of technology. But it's better than the Audi at, at its best because it just turns 360 degrees anytime yeah. it wants to. They don't warn you. They finish turning and they look at you. They glare at you like, why didn't you know I was going to turn? Where's your telepathy? <laughs> Okay, we've Have you noticed the, the, the flaps of a rickshaw are exactly at your eye level so you can't see outside and you just have to see the insides of the You're right. Rickshaw. You're right. <laughs> oh. They, oh. they pigeonhole you in that way so that you can't see anything and so that you get through the ride. Because they know. In <laughs> the past, no, many actors' careers have ended because they took taken rickshaws. Really? Yeah. They've just you know fallen out and stuff. It's been terrible. <gasps> So be, I never lie on this show. What I tell you is all truth. You want to know the names of actors, oh, you go ask about. Stop taking a rickshaw. Go ahead. 
Okay, the rest of the questions will be asked by yeah. Sumi. Okay, so uh, this is uh, Arpan Patel and he lives in Philadelphia. He's a huge fan of your show. Uh, we've spoken to Arpan. Mm. Oh, okay. I think. He's back with another question. He says, hey, uh, if you had to have a beer with three cricketers, alive or dead, who would it be and why? I would choose Wasim Akram because he always pays the bill. And he even told me once, uh, sorry, slightly racist comment about the two New Zealand cricketers with us. That they, I said, "Paisa kon barega?" So he said, "Main barega." So I said, "Or ye dono? Wahan pe nahi, or yahan pe nahi?" Matlab they're not in their own country and not in our country. Our country was Wasim, Wasim and I, and decided that Delhi was our country. <laughs> Unfortunately, we live in times where we can't make these comments. But yeah, he's a great guy. So I would, I would go with those who are generous. Firstly, okay. now of course, Viv Richards, my all-time favorite. So I have to have a beer. Make Wasim pay for that. He'll have to pay for that. Wasim will pay for that also because he's just you know I must say one thing with the Punjabis they're very generous yeah. noticed, I like that about the North India in mm-hmm. general you go there and then once they like you you don't have to worry so that's why I don't get this reverse thing that happens with the Shiv Sena and Maharashtra the North Indians come here and kill them throw them out there I'm like are you mad just visit North India and just be nice and then somebody will take your bag from you somebody will pillow you with lassi somebody will give you a paratha you know, some old auntie will pull your cheeks you don't worry you just, you're just treated like a god I, I, I like that I like that a lot so yeah, that's yeah. what Uddhav Thakre needs and I Cheek pulling. Where did, we, where, where did we go from a beer with Wasim Akram to Vivian no, Richards to Udav Thakra? How did you do? I mean, uh, I, have a, I have a cricketer pending. How yeah. about uh, for Sulbi, Dina Idalji? We have to add one female cricketer. Oh, okay. We have to balance it out. I'll look okay. bad. I look, I look very bad. I don't want to look bad. Can't look bad. Who now? See, you're looking bad. You're already looking God bad. Dana Iralji is amongst the most famous uh, female, female cricket. yeah. lady cricketer. What is the right word, Surbi? Lady female cricketer. Female sounds like you're, you're going to get doggies in a kennel. You know, cricketers. No, lady cricketers, gentlemen no, cricketers, just cricketers. Is, is it same? Is it actor uh, or actress? Actor. But yeah, now they don't like being called actress. Yeah, right? that's what the same debate about comedian and comedian. Comedian. I know this guy in, uh, I think it was in Uttarakhand, who mm. got eaten up by a uh, female tiger. Oh. Because Tig- he called her tigress. Tigress. So, you know, you got to be damn careful, man. You got to be damn. He said, "They go tigress, tigress." Next thing, gone. He but just this, said, this "Tiger." Dina was batsman, bowler, what? Idalji. A uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cheers. We're done. Next one. Last okay. Uh, oh, Cyrus. So, what do you think about workaholism? I have always been an ardent opposer of it, but I if, oppose it. Okay, all right. Who who asks this Mansi question? Mansi asks this question. Mansi, you're absolutely right. It's overrated. This whole work experience, mm-hmm. and now I've realized that in my father's generation, they've gotten away with murder. In the <laughs> sense, that my dad would leave at eight thirty in the morning, come back at most fathers in middle yeah. class India would leave at like eight in the morning, come back yeah, at six in the evening. Mm-hmm. But you know, I'm thinking if you look at today's modern day people with mm-hmm. the internet and Facebook and all the social mm-hmm. media that you refer to and your friends, etc., uh, that's how you get through your day. Nobody yeah, actually yeah. works. That's true. I mean, true. you work ten minutes. That's the truth. Mm. So what the hell did they do? There was no internet. <laughs> there, there was no media. So what was what is their father doing? No, I, doing? I have a counterpoint to that. They so must have had affairs. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, there's got to be affairs. <laughs> Monday you say, bye, honey, bye, kids, have a good day, gone. What the hell do they do? We all know that work should not be more than fifteen minutes anywhere in the world. So what the hell did our fathers do for generations? It's unbelievable. It's a, it's one of those elephants in the room. No one is addressing. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have the the. Can I use the word balls? Do it. I, okay, I'm going to use the word balls then. Yeah. I'm going to have the balls to actually say it. <laughs> Fathers, answer the questions, the hard <laughs> questions. How oh, it don't sound like a newscaster, but answer the hard questions. What the hell were you doing? It's Abbas. Do you think it's overrated? You're a comedian. You work thirty minutes. Yeah. So I also work here, by the way, for for a good nine, what ten hours. Hell, yeah. Come on, man. And that's what I was coming to with Facebook and everything in our pocket. We have working all the time. Yeah. We're, we're, in that, you're, you're connecting. Stuff. You're okay in that sense. Yeah. But you're like working. Like, I'm just my dad. Also, you're dad. you're old enough to be my dad by oh, now. So what, like, what, what did your father do? Or, he know. was a oral surgeon. Just, can you, just I, say, that say that it again, say it again. And, 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 and separate, separate sir, the words. So it's a surgeon for the entire face. Uh, just say it again. I just the way you said it was pretty. An oral surgeon. Oh. Oral surgeon. Yeah. We need to beep that. Wow. It's worse than saying boss. So you're done long hours, huh? Yeah. So very, very long. <laughs> just won't come back home. Ah, honey. Ah, I got, I got. Don't worry. Uh, my mom listens to this, man. Oh, what are you saying? Yeah. But that's a lovely man. <laughs> But I got to tell you, I told my son, if there's anything you want to do, you do oral surgery. What the hell? Is, what, what is oral surgery? Oral and maxillofacial it's surgery. It's a No, I think it's uh, so. Uh, I, I, I think it's like you know when you don't want to actually touch the patient, you talk them through. It. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello, <laughs> Arun. You have an ugly face with buck teeth. You'll now push fine. them back. Imagine in your mind that you have the power. Push your teeth back. Push your teeth back. Is that it? 
किया See, comedy and sensitivity always go hand in hand, and you're in India, the most sensitive of all nations. Let's hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have one more question, uh, which is how does Cyrus deal with an existential crisis? Pranav asks this question. No, no, but I'm a cynic. I think by now, and uh, I think uh, there are stages when you become an actual cynic. Then beyond that, you become a cynic who's given up. So actually, it's funny again. So it's almost like the wheel turns again. Mm-hmm. So as existentialism is, for, as far as I'm concerned, is what you live, you die. There's nothing more to it. So you're dying the moment you're born. This whole uh, living, why am I here, is a pointless question mm-hmm. because you're just going to die anyway. So if you think of it that way, traffic actually represents life. No. How? Because you go nowhere, you know. You just you're just <laughs> frustrated, but but you have, you have to zen like about it and get out of that whole yeah. mind corridor for a minute because mm. there is nothing. It's just frustration. Because one thing leads to another thing. Have you ever driven Mumbai Alibag, no. for example? Get behind the trucks. <laughs> And you will be. It's it's called mind molestation of the worst order. Ooh. I believe terrorists use it. They make you drive. They hold a gun to you and say, "Now drive." And you tell you open your mouth and you you spill the beans about everything. It's it's very painful because as you overtake one truck, yeah. so this is true. You got to do it. You have to physically drive a car, not be in the car. Yeah. You have to drive it. You overtake one truck, hmm. uske aage truck hai. Hmm. You overtake second truck, uske aage Ooh. truck hai. You overtake third truck, uske aage truck hai. And it just doesn't end. It's like torture. It's called uh, Maharashtra torture, like Chinese torture. This Maharashtra <laughs> torture. And you slowly die. You die inside because one by one, every time you achieve the goal of one truck, yeah. what rhymes a truck? That's what happens to you. <laughs> Who, who asked this question? Uh, this question was about Pranav. Pranav, I hope yeah. you got your cheerful answer. Pranav, you can <laughs> buy a truck. Ashok and Leland both sell separately now because they're not friends. Okay, we have one last question. Huh. Okay, do you wear the toothbrush before applying the toothpaste or after, Bhavesh? Do I? Do you wear the toothbrush? Well, not only that, I used to keep the tap running till my wife got so angry that now she's she wants to put locks on taps. I'm not going to. I like to put a tap running when I'm peeing locks also. Locks on taps should be a. It sounds so like a song. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like a heavy metal song from the 90s. Locks like. on taps. Locks on taps. <laughs> Parikrama. <laughs> a Gujarati version coming to soon. Lock on tape. Lock on tape. <laughs> so you don't uh, you don't wet it or like you wet? How dare you ask me? How many women <laughs> oh ask me this God. question? Oh my God. Do you the wet it? Talking about the toothbrush. 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 Well, I've been called that. <laughs> and frankly, it's a good metaphor. Uh, <laughs> I have to no. I have to say that you're right. It's a very good question. Good observation. This girl should be an observational comedy. Actually, uh, a lot of people do that. It's a guy. Oh, so, so we. Surbi is in comedy. Who was who sent us? Bhavesh asked this question. Bhavesh is a man. I stand corrected. Yeah. <laughs> I have no lots of Bhaveshes. Uh, I hope it's not a problem. Who cares? Uh, either way, you should be happy with your gender, but it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, let's ask both of you all first, then I'll answer hmm. my thing. Do you do that? Do you wet the? Yeah, uh, I wet it before and then I wet it after putting the because toothbrush. you're cleaning it, right? You're sort yeah, of cleaning yeah, it. Yeah, cleaning it. Yeah. yeah. I wet it before and I put the toothpaste. Then I don't. You wet it then. He doesn't no, brush. That's the problem. He just puts a toothpaste and leaves it. All right, I'm done. <laughs> hey, my dad's an oral surgeon. Okay, I have to brush. But he's not checking you, yar. <laughs> But it's one of the family things, is it? Come on, guys. Sunday, chalo press karega. <laughs> No, so but it's a very good point. It's a very valid point. I have no idea why we do it because I think Subhi is very clearly. Some people do it because they have hygiene mm. and they're clean. Yeah. I don't have that hygiene issue. I don't care, uh, so I don't know why I do it. So you you, you wet it. Toothpaste on a dry toothbrush. What's the difference? It just feels like. If you also, what if there's a cockroach? If you're really foamy and frothy, I don't like that. I know. I don't. Frank, oh, wow. Can I be like, honest? Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I don't brush that much. All right. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just how is that an answer your, for you? Two more minutes of your day wasted. You know, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it's the same woman, the same experience, the same podcast. <laughs> that's it. All right. Yeah. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online, and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called me. And that's what Cyrus says. Hello, I am Chuck. I am Shrikip. I am Narain. And together, we are the hosts of the podcast Simplified. Simplified. And we are going to be doing a hundredth episode. Ba ba ba. Which is going to be a live episode at Dulali in Car in Mumbai on the twenty fifth of August, twenty eighteen. Yes, we should get the year right. So we are going to be doing a lot of fun things at. 
the show we are going to be talking about some stuff simplifying them we are going to have a very erudite guest who is going to hopefully make up for our silliness but we sincerely doubt it and there's definitely going to be a lot of beer so we really hope you join us it'll be fun and it'll be more fun if you guys are there so do land up see you bye bye why don't we talk about mental illness for that matter we don't even talk about emotional wellness and if we can't talk about either of these basic very basic aspects of being human what do we do when we just feel like something's not right hi i'm zain and i'm avanti and this is marbles lost and found a show where we invite conversations about mental health and illness and just get people to talk about it because it's okay to do so Catch Marbles Lost and Found every Tuesday on the IVM app, website or anywhere you get your podcasts from.